Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Rius and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. First of all, uh, I would like to apologize because I didn't upload anything on Sunday. Um, I was pretty busy doing, you know, stuff. Um, that aside, for today I got a dual color pirate deck showcase for you guys. And I gotta say, it's a really fun deck. And not exactly competitive, but you can win in the most fun way possible. That is using your opponent's stuff against them. Here's a quick deck rundown. First of all, we got three Canium, which works wonders for this deck since you can dump minion, destroy forces, and revive your own minion. Next, we have three Barrel, three Nijinoko, three Duck Knight, three Skark, to invade for getting your used magic back or any minions that's suited for this situation. 3 power consumption, 3 wave white for mana ramp and getting back your death shark, 2 kraken to dump minion and destroy your opponent minion, 3 death shark for draw power and destroy your opponent's forces faster. Then we have 3 destruction, to Xanthi die to steal your opponent's stuff, one Dark Worm Nova for mass or soldier matchup, and then two blind spot. I think you can change this one with a uh, wizard weapon. Uh, if you don't have uh, blind spot, that's fine. One pandemic to wipe everything clean. To Ramirez for finisher and field clearing. And finally, we have one Kyushinryu to Arabasta. I know, I know. That is very cringe, but I can't help it. And moving on with the replays. Our first match is against Purple Evoker. Now, uh, for this deck, it can handle big minions pretty well, but it can't deal with decks that swarm the field like tribals. Uh, we can handle jewels pretty well, but sometimes they just get the god hand. Uh, looks like our opponent is mixing with some BS minion as well. On our turn, we summon Duck Knight, summon Skark, move it to base, and pass. Uh, we don't need to rush against Purple Evoker since they are taking their time to evolve stuff. On our turn, we summon another Duck Knight, move it to base, activate Destruction, and Canium level 1, dumping Wave White, and pass. On their turn, they summon Petit Diablo and Sword Doll. I'm glad we destroyed Andoros because that would have been pretty bad. We summon Wai White, getting Death Shark back to base, moving into field, then activate Canium level 2, twice, and pass. On their turn, they are attempting to destroy my phoenix, but we suck. Then they summon Catherine, attacks, but we activate blind spot to destroy Catherine and move Diablo to base. But then he summons another Catherine and attacks, but unfortunately we got another suck. On our turn, we revive Death Shark with Canium and summon another death shark and goes for face and pass. On his turn, he summons Andoros, destroys our, one of our death sharks, then destroys Phoenix. He attacks Kiron, but we activate blind spot, destroying Andoros and moving the ability to base. But then, he summons Steinbolt and destroys our Kiron. We top deck Santi Dai, which we are going to use straight away. Attacking and stealing his Ambos 
and ending the match with it. Second match is against White BS. For White BS matchup, we have to be careful of Grand Warden because our deck is pretty magic heavy and getting locked out of it is the last thing we want. On our turn, we move Nijinoko to base and pass. The opponent is slowly building up their mana and they already got Mega Bison in base. But as long as they don't have any cores, uh, we should be safe. <laughs> On our turn, we summon Kraken, destroying his bear, then activate Canium level 1, moving Kraken to base, then activate Invade to get that shark and pass. The opponent summons Strike Vroom Leo and pass. We summon Death Shark, attack Phoenix. The opponent drops Rita, destroying Wave White. Then we summon another Death Shark, destroying his Phoenix. We also drew Xanthi Dai, which we can use next turn to steal his stuff. He summons Grand Warden, braves with Mega Bison and pass. That would have been really bad if he had a core. Uh, on our turn, we summon Santi Dai, destroys his Pegasus, and activates Destruction to kill Leo. If only we got Destruction earlier, we could have stolen his Leo. Pomon doesn't have anything left to defend, so we can finish him off. Uh, we activate Blind Spot, then attacks with Xanthi, stealing his Leo, and drew Darkworm Nova. On his turn, he activates two Death Beam, destroying our Leo and Xanthi Dai and tries to attack face, but we suck. Then he passed. On our turn, we drop the brave killer, Dark Room Nova, attacks face, move Death Shark to base, then summons another Dark Room just to rub it in his face. Our third match is against Blue Mask. We are going to show them how a real pirate We move Nijinoko to base, then summon Skark, attack Phoenix and pass. He seems to also splash in some artists in his mask build. On our turn, we summon Santi Dai and pass. He also summons the 5 cost mask, move it to base and pass. Okay. On our turn, we summon Death Shark, attacks Phoenix, stealing his 5 cost minion, then destroy both of his forces. He then summons Ocean Veil, moving our 5 costs into the base, then tries to destroy our Phoenix, but got suck. He moved the mask from base to attack, but also got suck. Unfortunately, he got another mask and managed to destroy our team. On our turn, we activate Pandemic, clearing the board clean. We move Santidae back to the field, attacks, and stealing Ocean Veil. Um, I doubt the opponent can OTK us at of this range, so we have the absolute advantage here. 
on our turn, we are just going to finish him off with Veil. Good game. Fourth match is against Green Mask. Oh, I love this replay because we managed to stall two of their minions while also summoning our own boss. On his turn, he summons two cost masks, move it to base, then activate Lashley level 1 and pass. On our turn, we summon Duck Knight, activate Invade, adding Ramirez, then summoning Nijinoko, move it to base, and pass. I guess the opponent AI decides that it will be safer just to build up mana slowly and keeps passing. The opponent equips the 4 cost masks and attacks, but we respond with destruction, forcing them to henshin into the 7 cost and tries to attack again. But God sucks. On our turn, we summon Kraken to dump Xanthi Dai, moving Kraken to base, destroys his 7 cost, and pass. On his turn, he attacks and henshins into another 7 cost, then pass. On our turn, we summon Ramirez, getting back our Santi Dai. We attack, but he activates lunchtime, so we can't steal anything yet. He attacks and destroys our phoenix, summons another mask, and activates Lashley level 3. On our turn, we attack with Santi Dai, stealing the 10 cost, and we summon it. We attack once more with Zanti, and then steals the seventh cost, then activates two Kanium magic, then summoning Skark, but the opponent top decks Twin Strike, resting our 10 cost, but we still manage to hit with the 7 cost. And for the finale, we activate Kanium level 3, we revive Kyushinyu to Arabasta to end the game. And for our last match, we are up against our nemesis, Mono Soldiers. He didn't get any Paulding or Swan, which is awesome for us. He summons Swan, with Rhino to base, then pass. On our turn, we summon Skark, move it to base, then activate Kanium level 1, dumping Dark Room Nova, then activate Invade to get Dark Room Nova back and pass. The opponent summons Barrier, equipped with Rhino, and attacks, but we activate Suck. On our turn, we're just going to summon Wave White, placing Death Shark to base, and pass. Opponent tries to attack again with Barrier, but also got suck. One more time, he then summons Launcher Bot and attack, uh, but we activate Destruction, and then he summons another Barrier. On our turn, we move Death Shark to field, then drops Dark Room Nova, destroying all of his boosted minions. Then we destroyed his phoenix. We tried going for face, but got blocked by Swan. On his turn, he drops Hydro Gunner and Dark Gunner to destroy our phoenix. It must feel pretty bad since they can't do anything if they don't boost the minions. On our turn, we revive Arabasta and summons Kraken, destroying barrier and then destroy his siren and we go all out to the face to end the game well that's all for today's replay 
I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions on what should I make for the next video, leave it down in the comments. See you next time. Bye.